That's in Eastern Iowa OBGYN as the state's new abortion law takes effect today. That law bans abortions about six weeks into a pregnancy. There are limited exceptions in cases of reported rape, incest, some fetal abnormalities, or when the life of the woman is in danger. KCRG TV9's Emily Schrod spoke with advocates on both sides of the issue today and brings us a look at what comes next. As one of the strictest abortion laws in the country takes effect in Iowa, OBGYNs are looking at what comes next. Unfortunately, the cost of this bill and the cost of this legislation will be measured eventually in the additional morbidity and mortality for the women of Iowa. While there are some exceptions to the law, Emily Bavers, an OBGYN out of Waverly, says that guidance is not cut and dry. She says doctors must now ask hospital lawyers for what constitutes as a medical emergency. Most of these healthcare facilities don't have somebody in-house that they can ask quickly. Um, and it puts patients and you know physicians who have spent literal decades training and practicing medicine um, in a position of having to ask permission to offer standard of care medicine um, to lawyers and administrators that are not medically trained. On the other side of the issue, Augustine Payne, executive director for Dubuque County Right to Life, says the new law is a win for unborn children. He says Right to Life hopes to continue the conversation around abortion. We want to continue to see every innocent human life protected, and that includes from the preborn child to the mother to those who disagree with us. We want the people to be protected and their life to be cherished because we think every human being matters. But as Iowans continue to navigate the new changes. Well, I'm just scared, angry, frustrated. In 2021, after years of trying to start a family, Allison Bierman says she experienced an ectopic pregnancy and had to have a medical abortion to save her life. Each of my miscarriages even were so different than each other. It's not one size fits all. You can't have a one size fits all law to apply to a huge spectrum of women and families. It is my choice, it's my doctor's choice, and that choice should be between us and not anyone else's.